and that's a great point. Yeah. Uh, another another fighter that's on that card, his name is Shavkat Rachmanov, and he kind of he kind of answers that question in many ways. He's very well rounded, but in another sense, he's enigmatic because he's he's got he's got that athleticism and he's finding the chin and he's finding the takedowns and he's finding the submissions but how is he doing it against other people that are also super well rounded you know yeah. Je- jeff neal is a fucking monster in that division and yeah their fight was a war but man shavkat looked so good in that fight and it's it like really what is this what is this guy doing especially in where the fuck is he from Kazakhstan like how are these guys figuring out these the the ways to be as elusive as he's being um yeah Shavkat is he's very good and he's very good at striking and submissions especially and he can absolutely win with both uh his his area of weakness I think is the wrestling department which goes to show you like just because someone came out of like that region of the continent doesn't mm-hmm. mean they're top tier wrestlers right uh, right don't all train together um, <laughs> but he 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 is very good and like you said against jeff neal um he looks phenomenal like his striking looked great and then against neil magny i believe like neil magny never got a chance to like get up and work his game plan he was mm-hmm. he was getting rattled the entire time um, and sh- so Shavkat, like in those areas is absolutely elite level. Like this guy absolutely is an elite fighter. The only thing I would, I would question is because he has had a fairly meteoric career. The one thing he hasn't run into yet is a really good wrestler. And the problem for him is that all of the people above him in the rankings, Bilal, Colby, Usman, Shemaev, if he comes back down, Everyone above him in the rankings is an elite wrestler. So he's about to hit that wall. And if he can if he can handle these guys, like if he can stop, you know, Bilal's wrestling or Usman's wrestling and things like that mm. and work his striking or work his submissions, then yeah, this guy is absolutely championship material. Watch the flip out. But the wrestling seems to be a weak point for him where he's really good at submissions, he's really good at grappling, but he is not really initiating these clinches, he's not really initiating these wrestling exchanges. He's responding to them. He's a he's sometimes like pulling guard on a submission. He's getting some throws sometimes, but uh, he's not working like any sort of reliable system of wrestling. And his uh, his wall wrestling is the old style. It's it's the old school wall wrestling, but it's almost hard to tell because ev- like. He never initiates the wall wrestling. People push him against the fence, which, A, that's a problem because there are people above him in the division where that is what they prey on. That is their plan mm-hmm. A. Um, but two, the the people pushing him against the wall are also doing the old style of wall wrestling. So he could be using the old style defense because they're using the old style offense and therefore he is doing the correct thing. I don't know, and this, this is just the unknown about him, I don't know how adaptable he's going to be when he runs into the really elite wrestlers and the really elite wall wrestlers, which he is going to run into very soon. Now, the, and that's a fair assessment. Yeah. The wrestling is a factor when we're talking about takedowns and yep. even when we're talking about control. Um, but I think that Shavkat is one of those guys that has the ability to get back up to his feet there have been many examples to to show but i have a good hunch that he's a guy that's going to um what's the word prioritize getting back up to his feet rather than trying to really do a whole lot of grappling um to your point he can grappler he's very he can grapple he's very good at grappling he can submit you but i think he likes the striking department better and I think he's going to try to keep it there. Um, he's using the old style to your point. Will he get taken down by these guys that are above him? Probably, but I yeah. think he'll get back up. And I think his striking is better than a lot of those guys too. And as we saw in his matchup against Jeff Neal, because I thought Jeff Neal was a better striker going into that fight. And 
technically that may be true, but Shavkat showed off a great chin in that fight. You know, yeah. as opposed to somebody like Patty who kind of relies on their chin, for Shavkat, that chin was there as a as a last resort. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He has good defense, but he used his chin to to bridge the gap in terms of what he lacked in technique against Jeff Neal. And and that's how he was able to eat shots, throw back, and eventually catch Jeff Neal. And for the for the striking, like I did notice in the Jeff Neal fight, because Jeff Neal was like Jeff Neal has some power and he knows to use that. So Jeff Neal was like initiating some more high intensity brawls that I really hadn't seen Shavkat do up until that point. And I noticed that like normally when you're when you're at range picking each other apart, Shavkat's defense is very good. But if you initiate one of those high intensity things, it looked like his hands tended to come down and he started to really engage in like the swinging. And that's where he was getting caught. He was he right. was getting caught once he started engaging in those brawls. And once he started just like going to swing, he started doing this and his hands were nowhere near his face anymore. And that's yep. when Jeff Neal was catching him. So I, I wonder if that could be a tactic that other fighters in the division might use against him is if they think they have the advantage on power, start initiating brawls. Cause like strategically, one of the biggest problems with Shavkat is he's not enforcing his game. Like he's a great striker and he'll strike you and he's good at picking you apart from range. And if you initiate a brawl, he'll brawl you. And if you clinch up with him and push, push him against the fence, he'll grapple you. And he's not, he's not enforcing his game. And when you're that skilled, when you have, like, when you're that technically good at so many areas, like, that's gotten him by so far. Just because yeah. he can beat people at their own game a lot of the time. But once you start breaking into that, like, top five, nobody beats these people at their own game. Nobody right. ever is. You have to fight your own game. You just fundamentally can't win. There's there's really not a lot of people that can do it. and and. Yeah. I think that's why is that Shavkat strikes me as a guy. He's like a go with the flow kind of guy. Like wherever the fight goes, that's that's where it's going to take place, and that's it. Um, and I don't know if there's ever been a champion that has had that that kind of mentality. Um, I, I would yeah. really struggle to find more than one or two, if there are any at all. I would agree, and like that tells you how like technically skilled he is that he can get this high with something where like you don't see people that do this get anywhere close to his level. And that's just because he's good enough in so many areas that he can come in with the go with the flow strategy, which does like, I would not advise anyone to come up with a go with the flow strategy. That does not work. No, no. Yeah. It's tough. MMA is very much implementing your, your will and your strategy in the fight. And because MMA is so diverse. There's so many things that can happen. You could easily find yourself in an area where you've never been before. You've never been, or you've scarcely been there before. Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you invite that opportunity to possibly take place? You want the fight to take place in areas where you're familiar. And it sounds like an oversimplified way to assess MMA strategy, but there's so many fighters that don't do that, that they do go with the flow and they let their opponent kind of dictate what's going to happen. And I don't know if it's like a macho thing, like I'm tough everywhere. I'm going to prove it by beating them at their own game, which I, you know, I understand the appeal to that, but if what you're worried about is winning, that eventually is going to bite you in the ass. 